In this video, I'm going to show you how to find an oil leak on your car without any fancy equipment and it's going to cost you less than a gallon of oil. I've got my V8 back together and it's running sweet as a nut. In fact, it's running with more power than it ever had before. I think it's because I changed all the HT leads and the plugs and all the bits and pieces, changed all the uh, belt pulleys, bearings and stuff like this while I was at it. But when I was under the car I noticed it had an oil leak and it was a bad one. So being at the front of the car one automatically thinks that it's the crank seal. Well the seal that was there I just took the pulley off and had a look. But when I got the pulley off there was no oil under the pulley so it wasn't from there. So where is it coming from? Well, who knows? Now, I know it's a bit of a surprise to you guys that a Land Rover is leaking oil. I know, I know all about it. You're probably turning off now thinking, what the hell is he talking about? Well, <laughs> it's, it's not just leaking oil. It's, it's like a cut jugular vein. The thing is, I, this is my winter car. That's all I ever use this for is my winter car. In six years, it's done 20,000 kilometres. But... Because it's my winter car, I run it on full synthetic 530 oil, which is very light and will find any hole in the system or you know, any leaks. So, oil's expensive and we don't want to be topping it up every five minutes. So we've got to find a leak. So why don't I use my smoke tester mic? Well, I could do, but in this case I want to show you something you can find a leak without a, uh, a smoke tester and you can do it, like I say, you can do it at home so let's go to the bench and I'll show you what I'm talking about so what we're going to be using is a dye, we're going to put some dye in the oil itself and this is called uh, tracer line and it's very good stuff and you use it in combi combination with one of these which is a uh, UV light. Now this one's a particularly big one and it wasn't the cheapest one but I use this for AC and I use it for all sorts of bits and pieces well I use this light for AC but for if you're using the dye for AC you need a different product but this one for me has got a bigger wider beam but for you guys you can just buy just a very simple sort of push flashlight and it's uh, very cheap to, to use and you can usually get a pair of yellow glasses with it so it, it exaggerates where the, the leak is coming from so, so you can see the green glow as this, uh, this is working now I'm giving you a description of this now and then we're going to put this in the oil and I'm also going to top up the oil with ATF because the engine needs a bit of a flush out and I'm going to have to change the oil for winter anyway but why I'm putting ATF in is it's got a lot of chlorine in it and it'll clean the internals of the engine now when I had the heads off they were clean there wasn't any gunk or really nasty gummy stuff but they were sort of brown and nasty and stuff like this so a little bit of ATF in there will uh, just help loosen that dirt up and it also the tappets are tapping a little bit, the, you know, the uh, self-adjusting lifters. So I think that that will help uh, uh, tremendously. Now the thing is, you have to use this wisely. You can't sort of put ATF in your car and go bombing off down the highway at like 200 miles an hour. You just use it. See, I just go to the shops and back, maybe a couple of kilometres and back, just, just allowing the engine to get warm and leave it. That's the key. Circulate the oil around the car and leave it. Now, this is the thing. I will do this over a period of two or three weeks. All right. So, I'm going to do a combination of things. I'm going to find out where the leak is coming from. And I'm also going to circulate that ATF. Now, every week, I will change the oil filter. Because it will uh, loosen off a lot of dirt and gunk and it'll block the filter so it's very important so what I'm going to do ATF change the filter put this in and we'll come back to the car in a couple of weeks and we'll look at it and uh, 
see where the leak's coming from and we'll change your oil. And I'm not going to do oil changes on, on video because everybody's done it so it's not, there's nothing really to know. But we're going to sort of do that and then get that car ready for winter and um, hopefully it will be oil tight. Well I think so but uh, it can't be any worse. But you see what the logic about this is this. That Rover V8 has a rubber oil gasket at the bottom and what happens is that that could be leaking, it could be the oil cooler pipes leaking, it could be the o-ring leaking, it could be the oil pickup or the oil filter housing is leaking, I don't know where it is but the thing is this, if it's leaking from somewhere and then you can spend an awful lot of money changing hoses and, and wasting time and you know messing about it's far easier to just to put this dye in and find out where the leaks coming from and then fix it and like I say you can use this in oil uh, any oil and fuel too so if you've got a diesel leak you can put this, some of this in your diesel now I'm going to put a link in the description below as to what the uh, proportions are because this is typically American and it comes in one fluid ounce or 30 millilitres so uh, I'll do the formulation below and then you can work it out yourself alright so let's come back to this in a, in, a, in a week or two's time it's been a couple of weeks since I uh, did that last section on the video about this car with a dye in it and I thought seeing it's quiet and it's Sunday and I'm not really doing much today I'll just bring it in the shop get it warmed up because it was cold outside and then we'll have a crawl underneath the car and see what's happened to that dye. Now, when I did this video earlier, I actually took the car outside and power washed it underneath. Uh, but I did have a little bit of a problem with this little bleeder here on the top. When I was bleeding it out, I had antifreeze everywhere. Um, so I don't think there's a leak. Well, it might be, I don't know. But um, with this, this uh, UV light, uh, the Prestone or the antifreeze or whatever you want to call it coolant actually fluoresces as well It's going to be tricky So anyway, never mind. Let's go and have a look and see if we've we've sorted out this oil leak and where it's actually coming from Now I'm not sure if this is going to be a very good uh, Conclusive test because you see up there I don't know If you can see I hope you can see we'll see when we play this video back You can see there's green glows on that clamp and the bolt heads up there so just bear that in mind. Underneath the oil pan, there's very little. You could see where I washed it off here, but you can see from here before where the oil was running down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this light off, this uh, UV light, because obviously what my concern was, was it leaking out of here, out of the union, or was it leaking out the oil filter, where was it coming from? Now, it, it doesn't look like it's been coming out of anywhere. This green glow here has got nothing to do with oil. In fact, like I say, let me turn this off. Turn this uh, UV light off and we'll put the big blinding light on and we'll have a look underneath. The car actually has been running superb. And if you remember that I put um, uh, a litre of ATF in the oil, Oh boy, has it quietened down the, the lifters, so that's worked. Let's change, let's change lights. So now we've got the blinding light on, you can see quite clearly that the oil was dirty, but it's actually uh, antifreeze or coolant that's fluorescing. I didn't put any dye in there, but around the front of the crank, as you could see, there were, although it's oily, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't leaking out of there. You can see where it was leaking out of there in the past, but I just got underneath it quickly with a steam cleaner and washed it all off. So, I don't know where it was coming from. It might have been out the crank seal. Anyway, I replaced it and we haven't done that many miles. But you can see where oil's been spraying on the back from the, from the old leak. Now, if that was new oil leaking, that would be all green and glowing when it isn't. So, that's a good sign. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, while I'm under here I've just noticed this is the reason why this car 
is on its last legs. Look, look at the body support. Look at that. Look at the sill. That's why I won't repair it. I only like to say I only use this in winter to go in down the shops about a couple of kilometres, but it's just as bad over there. You can see the hole in the chassis underneath. Uh, sadly, it's it's on its way, but you know there's no oil leaks out of it or anything like that out of the steering or anything. But it's kind of sad, really. But look, this is this is typical as well. Look at this great big uh, cross member, all completely rotted out. Look, look at it. <laughs> See, this car was rusty when I bought it. It was rusty when I got it, so anyway. But I want to keep this engine in tip top shape because I'll probably put this one into uh, find another body and put this into a, a different discovery. Even though it is a 4 litre, not a 4 6, it's a good one. So I'm going to change the oil on that this afternoon. Now the lifters have quietened down uh, and that's it. So I'll spin off the oil filter. You don't need to see how to do that. Drop the oil out and away we go. So, did it work? Well, yes it did. Did the oil dye work? Well, yes it did too because, well, I can't see any oil leaking out. All I can see is Preston. And you see, like I say, this, this, this leak here is water. So, like I say, when I bled it through, it's dropped down and even I didn't know that uh, the uh, coolant fluoresces. So that's something I've learnt as well. So, there we go. I wish we could make this Land Rover better because it's such a good little car, but sadly, it's, it's past its best. All right, so we'll talk to you later. Don't go away yet. There's a little bit more, something interesting. Just to prove that I actually did put dye into the oil, I've just started to spin the oil filter off to change the oil. And look at this. So we've got the UV light on. Spooky, eh? Look at that. Look at my hand. You see? Now even more interesting, look at the oil bath where it's sprayed all over the floor. Wait a minute. Can you see that? Look at the oil pan. You can see the old oil from Curtis's truck is here. But my stuff is there. Glowing in the dark. A bit too late for Halloween. But the moral of this is that we didn't see that on the engine anymore. So that means we've cured a leak, so it must have been the crank seal and it's washed so much oil out of the crank seal that it's washed across the bottom of the oil pan. Now if it was still leaking from somewhere else, then we would see this before, after. We would see that all over the place and we're not. Good thing. So now we've made this engine better, I wish we could make the car better. But sadly, we can't. So if anybody's in North America has got a nice Disco 2 for sale with a busted engine, let me know. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.